Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well today. Just a quick post, um, I have put together a little calculator, estimator for building the Aircrete cylindrical houses. Um, this is just something to help you guys with planning because you know anytime you're building off grid, you're building a bug out location where you're not in the city, uh, or even if you are in the city for that matter, it's very useful to know how much things are going to cost, how much time it's going to take. Uh, so that you can plan, to, you know, know how much money you need to save. Uh, you can know the amount of time required to build it. Um, you know, if you can fit this in on a vacation day or a uh, few days off, you'll know if it's a, too much labor for you to do or if you want to hire labor. Um, and it helps you to decide when you're ready to start your project. Um, cylindrical houses, um, they can be built so very fast. Uh, it's the fastest method that there is, uh, you know, just one person can build a little 16 foot 200 square foot home uh, and honestly if you're fairly skilled you could move in within uh, just two weeks so uh, not a bad uh, way to get started um, here's the calculator basically it gives you a total price and this total price is also broken down into the price per square foot now this is the shell, it is the electrical wiring, it is uh, you know the exterior doors, windows, everything you see in yellow are fields that you can change. These numbers right here are telling you that for example this 16 foot structure will take one person six days to pour and of course that's limited by the amount you can pour per day uh, we have 16 inches. I really wouldn't want to go any f any deeper than 16 inches. 12 inches is a little more ideal. It would take eight days, one person, to pour this structure. Uh, they're going to have to mix three batches of aircrete each day, and it's going to take an hour and a half work per day. Now, you see, this is really great because you can say, well, I've only got weekends. Um, and now you can know, oh, it's only going to take me an hour and a half to mix this and maybe half an hour for cleanup. So uh, you know that you can do this. This diameter, this is the inside diameter. Uh, this is the floor space. The wall width is added to that. And you can choose the thickness of your wall. If you want efficiency, I recommend eight inches or more. Uh, obviously you can get by with four inches, you really can. Uh, now we also have the option to select the height of the wall in feet. Now the reason this is important is because you can also select your roof type and if for example you were to do a domed top on this structure um, and you really only wanted a stem wall to come up four or five feet then you can reduce the height of the wall because by the time you come up with this dome, it's going to be eight foot higher than the level at which the dome starts. And it's also interesting to note that the different roof types, like you choose an 18 inch uh, truss flat roof, um, you know, you see how it affects the price. The materials are automatically uh, added in accordingly. Uh, and this has to be filled with uh, conventional uh, cellulose insulation. And interestingly enough, just a 2x12 flat roof ends up being probably the cheapest option. So it's nice to be able to play with these and to have some idea. Um, also, if you want to, you can just, uh, you could form up and just pour an absolutely flat aircrete structure so that the roof and everything's made out of aircrete. Uh, and that's actually a little more expensive. And a dome is still more expensive yet because it has to go up so high. So the absolute cheapest roof you can build, and when I say flat roof, obviously you could put this at an angle, but it's just a 2x12 flat roof filled with conventional insulation and uh, with tin on top of that. So you know all these materials are automatically calculated and you're given a number in dollars that you can work with and that number does include taxes. Um, you know, an exterior door, again, these are all fields where you can input the material cost and everything gets calculated for you. So, there you have it. A little tool. I hope you find this useful. 
Uh, you guys have yourself a really great day.